sunrise, new day's dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee, we've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no Ask a friend, but don't delay. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Listen up and learn about it all. Outdoors with Larry Ray. Good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray on uh, ESPN 790 here in Memphis, Tennessee, our flagship station. Also, welcome you folks out in Brownsville, Tennessee on 1520 AM and 95.3 FM. And, of course, over in uh, Jackson, Tennessee on News Talk 101.5. And all those stations are streamed 24-7, so you can listen to Outdoors with Larry Ray anytime you want to. And this being the fourth Saturday, that means that Wong is back. Um, we, where's our music? Greg Radliff? Where's his music? We can't start this show without Wong's music. Where is it? Now, come on, find it. I'm going to test him here. Greg Ratliff is searching. Here it is. On the road again. There he That's is. There it. he is. And that really takes care of both of our co-hosts today. Thank you, Greg Ratliff, because our other co-host, he's been on the road again uh, in his job with Vanishing Paradise, and that's Bill Cooksey. Uh, good, good morning, morning Bill. Good morning, morning. Uh, morning. Ron. Good morning. It's a beautiful day in the it neighborhood. Is. We're finally what, getting what, a is pretty, huh? what, what is this? What is this? The 28th of uh, it's light. Yeah, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's Dry called weather. sunshine. Springtime. Yeah. Drive. Well, boy, I tell you what, Thursday we came back from uh, over the trip that I was on the road uh, from Decatur, Alabama, and it rained all the way. So it's great to have a sunshine, sunny morning. And particularly talking to Ron, and uh, we're going to go a lot about what happened last weekend at the American uh, Crappie Trail Tournament down at Ross Barnett, because we've got the man himself uh, closing out today's show. That's Mr. Ronnie Caps, and I throw that, that in is there. correct, and Mr. We'll, we'll, Ronnie Caps and, and Mr. He, he Steve, and Steve Coleman. Coleman. And we're wow. going to talk about that, uh, but let's kick it off a little round table right here, the round the outdoor horn, we call it, and Bill has really uh, had a uh, an amazing week in uh, Washington D.C. A lot really of did. a lot of history. Uh, saw a lot of our people. Well, tell them. So tell our listeners where you were and what 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 was going on. Well, I, I, as you said, I was in Washington D.C. Flew in there on Monday and uh, got back home to Memphis yesterday. We were up there for the America's Everglades Summit, which was a education, information, and then uh, many of us went in there to actually lobby. Congress on behalf of the Everglades in South Florida, Lake Okeechobee, all those places that are in peril right now. And you had some uh, some of our friends that were with you. I, I did. Uh, flying home, it was on the same flight, were Alan Ranson and uh, me and uh, um, John Gordon. We had old Brian Brasher in from Alabama, yeah. who, of course, was at the commercial appeal for several That's right. years. Yeah. Followed you and preceded you. And he he had on a tie sometimes. He wore right? a tie. He wore yeah. no Alabama hat until we were done Wednesday night. I bet he had the hat on then, didn't he? He did. So and that's just that's as fine. I, I yeah. wear a hat all yeah. the time. And yeah. you know, up there everyone Even dressed damn, appropriately. You got on, uh, your that's visor right. today. That's but, right. But it was a really uh uh a time to sit down with the politicians. Correct. And uh tell them of the uh, the dangers, the peril of what's going well, on and, there. And, and what has to be done, and, and that's a good thing. Uh, we were there very specifically because there's some bills coming up where we can get things set up to actually fix the problem or begin the uh, the fix in a, in a huge way. Uh, and the reason for the different names you heard, and there are more 
as well was to lobby specific states. Yes, um, um, that's awesome. Their congressmen, yeah. and uh, hopefully by June, there's something called WERDA coming out, which is authorizes water projects. Okay, with the Corps of Engineers can get a, get them the money. So we want this uh, included in WERDA and obviously funding the whole program. Right now, it's passed. Florida is has their money; they're paying half the expense. Good deal. For the rest yeah. of us to come up with the the rest. Now, if we can just work out the problems in Louisiana, uh, because and, uh, yeah. th- there's a lot of we could spend a show on what's going on down Absolutely. there. Because uh, uh, BASS, uh, of course, we're going to be talking to Mike Malone uh, later in the show about uh, the classic going to Knoxville next year. Uh, it won't not be going to Louisiana for a while. No, unless and, they make some changes, and uh, it, it's you can tough. get into that. That's a whole show. Well, you know, yeah, we don't have a, a stance on that because it's that gets into such legal things. It is. That it's a legal we're a conservation organization, yeah, yeah. but I, it's a difficult thing. You think about how much stress we have at times over the Mississippi River bottom, the White River bottom, mm-hmm. those places. Mm-hmm. What's trespassing? What isn't trespassing? And there are lawsuits every year, every that go year, both ways. Hey, it happened never... to Shelby County and Fayette County here. <laughs> so when that water gets up on now, the wolf. Now, Ron, you know that there's. Uh, well, no, I mean, you know, Bill is absolutely right. You know, Louisiana and there just the repealed the a bill yeah. that says on this private property, public property deal because so many residents there. Cl- uh, say that they own <laughs> and shorelines, meant- and you can't come in and do anything. And uh, you know, Louisiana's upheld that. Well, the thing and- is, uh, in, in Louisiana, it, it's not like it's not just rivers. You have rivers, tidal and you have tides. Well, no, yeah. you have yeah. the tidal You've basin. had all of these issues over the last hundred years with subsidence and things washing oh, away. Yeah. So a man who owned a hundred acres of of land <laughs> slowly became a hundred acres of marsh, and that's a hundred acres of open water, and he's been paying taxes on it since the and French he, owned no, it in the I, I you know in the eighteenth you know, century. We all understand that, however. <laughs> so it's difficult. Again, <laughs> you, you know, you're talking about the erosion problem, but the good thing. I think of what's happened about the Everglades. You know, I read that there was over 150 different conservation um, wildlife organizations there in Washington with you guys to support those bills to get some work. Everybody was on board. I mean, that's a a bunch of different. This is a very easy bipartisan issue. Um, That's good to get that many. There's too much money at stake. Um, you know, Louisiana's a totally interest. different situation. Oh, it it's is. a whole different it's, it's situation. A, that's, that's, we need to talk that's about a it sometime. Different country. Yeah, it's a different country. But the Everglades are fixable. It's one of the easiest well, fixes that, in the outdoors right and, now, and so that's what is, we're pushing. the thing is, that's a step in the right direction mm-hmm. to say, hey, things can be fixed right. if people work together. Yeah. And gotta, y'all guys were working together. I mean, did you, uh, did you come away from that uh, meeting feeling really positive? Yes. Very positive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, all all the I've congressmen I met with, all the congressmen, all the people I've talked to since who met with different congressmen, mm-hmm. um, it was overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, we're, we're in. Um, this. We're talking billions of dollars at yes, stake right. if we don't yeah. spend millions to get things back in order. And Florida, you said, has already uh, chipped in. With Florida them. already has ha- their half of the money. Wow. And, that's and, good, and as uh, soon as the feds say, okay, we're in, the bill's passed, Florida's actually going to go ahead and start spending money. They're not going to wait on the federal check. So, like, so that's a good deal. I like Everyone's that. And, and that proves, again, hand. Uh, and our listeners might ask, well, what is vanishing paradise? Because I've had a couple of people say, mm-hmm. what is what is Bill? <laughs> Who, what is this? Well, and uh, uh, Gordo was telling me yesterday, I've got a much better idea of what you do because it is hard to describe. Um, John Gordon is uh, Gordo. Gordo. You folks out there know. And, there. and John and I uh, – Anyway, what you know, we're there trying to influence decision makers, mm-hmm. uh, and we do that both on a local basis down along the Gulf at, at local meetings and, and meetings at, at state capitals, all the way up to these. So you federal were representing meetings. Vanishing Paradise, there. right? And, and, and I was representing Vanishing Paradise, and I rep- I'm a Tennessean, so oh, I did go. represent Tennessee sportsmen in the Tennessee meetings. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's my deal. I know Tennessee. I know sportsmen here. I know sports business here. Well, there so was a lot of guys that I've never seen in a tie before uh, <laughs> at this uh, at this meeting, and I was uh, 
thinking while everything is going on great for at that meeting, then I was thinking of our good friend Dennis uh, uh, Fuller over at uh, River, 104.5, uh, falling off a scooter, you know, in <laughs> Thailand. And, and But still, Ron, listen to this. I just talked to him uh, earlier in the week. Uh, he's back here with his arm in a sling. His surgery is Tuesday. He went ahead and made that fishing trip on that 56-foot boat after he'd fell off his scooter and had his accident. And oh, yeah. uh, and he was uh, he said I was determined to do this on my last day in Thailand <laughs> to go fishing for bonitas. Yeah, no, and, and, I, uh, I I saw some of his Facebook <laughs> posts on that. So and, our good friend over there, he caught his bonitas. Uh, he said he was offered many pain pills. He didn't know that. He well, could and like I told him, him, he's getting he's getting to the age where he oh, doesn't need to gonna... think about scooters. You're talking about age? Here we go again, Brian. He's, we hadn't talked about None the, of us need to be on scooters You know scooters what he did either. with those bonitas, don't you? What did you think he did with those bonitas? Ate them. He ate them, yeah. Are, are these and, edible bonita? Or yes, are these they, they are. They those they, are the same bonita that yep. they go and make um, dried bonita with for soups and all kinds of stuff. That's good stuff. I, I mm. think that Ron needs to go next in Dennis's next uh, trip. You know, no, I'm uh, not going to do that because he... No. No, okay. Well, you'd be his <laughs> personal chef, though. No, you, Dennis cooks pretty well. Dennis too. is very good. Uh, and I said, I told him we would kind of throw in a plug, sympathy plug uh, for him. No when sympathy. He, when he's, but he'll only be out, he said, a couple of days. So for you fo- folks that listen to 104.5, the river here, and he'll be back. And uh, and he he carried on this past week with his arm in a sling and uh uh, I, I can uh, com- commend him for that and everything. Like, <laughs> well, like, ro- road rash sucks. Uh, yeah. It does that, yeah. particularly over there. He said they're all scooters. Everybody's got scooters. Right. You look yeah, around well, over there, yeah. there's I'll, scooters I'll going everywhere, huh? I'll walk or I'll hire one of them little rickshaws. Well, you'll get hit by a scooter around. then. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yes, it would. Yeah. Uh, let's take a break. Going to come back and start the show right out. Uh, I, I love to talk to these folks because oh, they've been really good to outdoors with Larry Ray up. Uh, our high mountain seasoning, and they've got some new jerky out, and I feel like a jerk because I didn't bring it with me, but uh, I'm going to look at my briefcase, and I might find one to give to Bill Cooksey because I know he's one. A, well, you, you're not well, a, you bring a jerky, jerky of, I'm a jerky aficionado. He is a jerky aficionado. He's in, been in the world jerky contest, I guess. He's we'll a be jerky. right back, Greg. <laughs> right, take us out of here. <laughs>